Okay, so today we're gonna try to get on the same page of what I would say is the pencil of music, the keyboard. Guys, every single day I get a call, somebody's asking for a keyboard. I can't tell you how long sometimes it takes for us to get on the same page of exactly what kind of keyboard they're looking for. Because if we really break down that word, doesn't it start associating itself to computers? Hydraulis is a keyboard, which is a water-powered organ. A marimba is a keyboard. Xylophone, harpsichord, clavichord, organ, a MIDI keyboard. There are all sorts of keyboards. If you call into Amro Music and you ask me for a keyboard, primarily speaking, I'm thinking of something smaller than 88 keys, something that usually doesn't have a weighted action. I'm thinking of, of more of an organ style key. You've got MIDI controllers, there's no built-in sounds. You, you control an outside sound somewhere on your computer, on your tablet, on your smart device. Some of them are doing it via Bluetooth. Some of them you need a cord. Slabs, I would consider those, again, more on stage type of pianos, so they're going on a rack, and uh, and they have usually a very specific function. Then you can have workstations where you record internally on that. They usually have sequencers on there. Then you have pads and things like that so you can control different parts of a, of a song that you've created either on that board or you can control other things on a computer with different software. So you got portable organs as well that have draw faders and everything on them. There's another kind of term that is starting to really propagate, I think, in a great place because it identifies itself with the historical precedence of these keyboards and mainly the instruments that parents and new beginners want, which is a digital piano. In other words, an electronic piano. We, we don't want it to have internal string tension uh, in order to work. We actually just want speakers. And, but what we want is it to be as high fidelity a replication of the acoustic instrument as possible. So first off, it needs to have a full-size keyboard, 88 keys. Second, it needs to have a weighted action, meaning that you are feeling a simulated version of what you see destroyed behind me, which is a literal key stick and a action sitting on that stick as you propel forward a hammer that then strikes a string. That is what we're trying to simulate in a digital piano because there are no internal strings for hammers to strike. Digital piano also third and most important means internal speakers or amplification. The best options in digital pianos will have the most amount of speakers mapped into stereo and 3D audio to accurately replicate the projection of an acoustic instrument's sound. We want to actually mimic as closely as possible the experience of playing that acoustic instrument. Don't be afraid to call in and ask for keyboard, but also know that on the other end, we're gonna ask you a couple of questions to make sure that we are both on the same page. We just wanna make sure that exactly what you have in mind is what we're seeking to find to meet your need or your want. Amro Music has been teaching this instrument since 1921. Find out more about that today at Amro Music since 1921.